This week, Russian cosmonauts Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov spacewalked outside their ISS outpost to ready the Nyoka multi-purpose laboratory module for a wide range of scientific experiments. It was the duo's second trip outside in the past week. The two were hopefully well-rested following a night in which smoke alarms went off in their section of the station. Russia's space agency said the alarms rang while charging the station's batteries. The crew activated air filters and went back to sleep. The alarms follow a bumpy Russian docking with the ISS earlier this summer. Back on Earth, a team of amateur astronomers drawn together by social media set up camp at an ancient Mesopotamian site in modern-day Iraq. You know that in the 1990s, electricity was not good. So all over, Iraq people would go to the roof. We would stare at the sky. So we know the planets and the names of the stars. Our love for astronomy started when we were young. Ancient Babylonian astronomers here used sophisticated geometry to study the heavens and for years credit for their work went to medieval European scholars. Muhammad says it's important to share a passion for the stars with the younger generation. This is so beautiful. For someone who has not seen something like this before, you realize the value of the universe compared to us. You will feel how small we are. It will motivate us to learn more, love astronomy more. One will dig deeper in this field, ask and do research. The group's name is the Amateur Team of Astronomy in Space and they first met in 2020. Finally this week, a mixed bag of environmental news. Air pollution plummeted during coronavirus pandemic lockdowns with fine particle pollution cut by a third across parts of Asia, according to a recent report by the World Meteorological Organization. The report showed nitrogen dioxide levels from burning fuel fell everywhere in some places by as much as 70 percent. All good news, but as air pollution fell in some places, sand and dust storms linked to climate change worsened air quality in others. Plus, the report says those climate gains were short-lived and won't have any long-lasting effects. And following Hurricane Ida striking the U.S. Gulf Coast, these satellite images show what's being called a substantial oil spill. The region is an industrial hub with ports, pipelines, and a nuclear power plant. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.